Hey, how's it going, Art Nerds? And welcome back to another video by me, Mr. Mark Mark B. And in this video, I decided to do something more chill in terms of vibes and editing style. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you'd rather me make videos like this or the ones I usually make that are like more heavily edited. Anyways, that aside, I guess it's appropriate this is a chill style video because today, as you most likely guessed by reading the title, it's gonna be a tutorial. So yes, I just said you read the title. You know this is a tutorial for how to put shadows on dark clothes the way to do it in manga like One Punch Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw man kaiju number eight and so much more oh and it's not just in manga but it's pretty much a thing i would say most artists who work in black and white to do when it comes to dark clothing but yeah whatever hopefully you get what it is that i'm putting down here so for the sake of not having this intro be like three thousand years long let's just get straight to the tutorial shall we So yeah, how to put shadows on dark clothes. To be honest, I didn't even think this was a thing people were confused about until I started seeing it way too frequently as a question in the comment sections of my various social media platforms and such. So yeah, I figured it'd be a fairly chill, easy video to make. So I was like, I'll just do it. Besides, it finally hit me to just go ahead and make the video when I was live streaming on VC in my Discord server. And a couple of y'all were just asking me and I was like, ah, whatever. So I figured I'd just do it. Oh, what's that? You wanna join my Discord server, you say? <laughs> well sure thing head on down to the link to my patreon in the description down below and once you subscribe to any tier you get instant access not only to my comics drawings and other stuff but also to my exclusive discord server and yeah if you're wondering yes i did decide to make it private because if you know me i'm already busy with a lot of stuff as it is so it's easier for me to manage a private discord with fewer people than one with a lot so yeah there you go anyways enough self-plugging let's get back to putting shadows on dark clothing so speaking of which when it comes to putting shadows shadows on dark colored clothing while drawing, let's break the process down into three easy to follow and understand steps. Step one, style. Step two, understand the light sources. Step three, the aftermath. And yeah, don't worry, I will go over these steps one by one in as much detail as necessary. Now starting off with the first step, style, I added this because I want you, you know, the artist, thinking about where you're going and how you want things to look. So yeah, look at how your favorite artist does it and study it because believe it or not, every artist does it in a different way depending on their style. For example, at the ends of shadowed areas on dark clothing, different artists approach it in different ways. And even then, those very same artists approach it in even more different ways, depending on lighting, settings, scenario, etc. To give a visual example, look how shadows on dark clothes are done in this manga here, Kaiju number eight. And now compare it to how it's done here in Jujutsu Kaisen, or here in Gachiakura, or here in Chainsaw Man, or even how Kim Jong-ji does it. So yeah, is what I'm saying make it more sense? they're all essentially doing the same thing just in different ways so yeah i want you to keep style in mind so that when you do it yourself you can have a result that you're most satisfied with for the next step, step two, it was understanding your light sources. So yeah, a lot of beginner artists tend to overthink when it comes to applying shadows to dark clothing. They tend to just throw the blacks wherever or whatever they think looks good. No, as indicated by the very title of this video, putting dark shadows on clothes, that's exactly what they are, shadows. So think about it like you would as if you were cell shading in color, except there's only one layer and it only affects the dark colored clothing of the character. Okay, so right now I have Aki Hayakawa from Chainsaw Man drawn on the screen you're looking at. Did I have to make it so extra when I drew it? No, not at all, but my patrons gotta eat, am I right? <laughs> So yeah, I have Aki Hayakawa from Chainsaw Man here as my model. So when I say think about your light source when applying these shadows on dark clothes, I want you to subconsciously think about it when drawing or actually draw out the light source if that'll make things easier for you as I will right now. So yeah, if that's the location of the light source, in this case it'd be the sun, we already know the darkest parts of Aki would be the parts furthest away from that light source. So that being said, let's use our understanding of the drawing fundamentals of form and 3D shapes, which you should already know if you're attempting to do this by the way, but whatever, let's use our understanding of the drawing fundamentals of form and 3D shapes and apply the shadows on Aki's suit based on the light source. Okay, now that we've applied the shadows, this is a good time to move on to the third and final step, which is the aftermath. I chose that title for this step because it just sounds open-ended and that's perfect because that's exactly what this step is. It's super open-ended. So yeah, what you do next is completely up to you and up to the influences that you chose in the first step for style. For example, I might tone the part of the suit that's not shadowed out since I like the way it's done in Chainsaw Man. Or, or I might hatch out those parts of the suit that are not shadowed because I like the way it's done in Donadon. Or even, I might 
might just leave it white if that's the style I want to go for. You feel me? Or or you can just be five head and leave it white and maybe even add a layer of tone for backlight to further even emphasize the intensity of the light source. But yeah, you get the point. How to draw shadows on dark lows. Step one, think about style. Step two, understand and be aware of your light sources. And step three, the aftermath. Depending on what you feel looks the best or is the most appropriate thing to do to the part of your clothing that isn't darkened is completely up to you. Thank you all for watching this video. I truly appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. You're a thousand percent built different if you did. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to my amazing patrons for supporting me and supporting this channel. The other reason your boy just bought himself a nice can of tuna for dinner tonight. <laughs> Anyways, if you yourself want to support me on Patreon, the link to everything you need is in the description down below. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button as well because that helps out the channel. And last but not least, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all and respond to most comments. Till next time, art nerds, it is I, Didi Dark Dark Mark. Peace and love, baby.